Welcome back to episode 3 of my Celtic Heroes walkthrough. Uh, I just wanted to give a little update, I guess. I guess we're kind of in the merching phase at the moment because while I'm level 33, I can't really progress much in the quest, so we're just trying to, you know, build some wealth. We've been farming, you know, wheat. Uh, I found a guy who was buying all my wheat, uh, Venomous. And he basically said that he'd buy all my wheat for 30 gold a piece. So I've been farming wheat and selling it to him. So we have that. Now, you'll notice that I have some new items. And I just kind of wanted to share what I've been up to uh, in between episodes. And all I've really been doing is farming wheat and, and merching. So if we go to the mailbox, uh, my barley, my wheat, or sorry, my, my lentils, my barley, and some more barley all sold. Uh, right now, I have 6.6k, uh, but guys, uh, I got a, I, just now, I got a very important uh, auction win. I went to the last page of the auction house, and I found 6 dragon discs for 4k, which is an insanely good deal. I mean, that's like, what, like around 800 gold each or something? Really, really good deal. So I bought six dragon discs. Now I accidentally, I, I accidentally deleted the mail, but I also bought two elm discs for seven hundred gold. Uh, so for some reason, somebody was selling discs for super cheap. So if you look at my auction house listings, we still have it's you know this ring is still in the auction house. Hasn't sold. Surf clams haven't sold, uh, but we have. The two elm discs for 7k, I bought them for 700 gold, so that'd be about 6k profit, and I'm trying to sell the dragon discs for 10k each, which is definitely steep, I think doable. I searched up uh, discs, and there was somebody who was selling dragon discs for a cheaper price, uh, two discs for 15k, so 7.5k each, uh, but you know, whatever. Uh, Hopefully somebody buys them out or or whatnot. If not, I'll lower the price, but these are in for long, that's in for medium. Maybe somebody needs more dragon discs, they might be forced to buy my listing. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to sell these dragon discs for 10k each. If not, I'll probably lower it to 7.5k each, and if, if that doesn't work, then maybe 5k each. But like either way, I just made massive profit. I mean, six dragon discs for 4K is is insane. Like, there's no way I lose money on that. Like, this ring that I bought, I still don't think I'm going to lose money on. I, I think I'm going to sell it, but I think it's going to take quite a while. I mean, a lot of this stuff is probably going to take a while to sell. But, yeah, this episode, I'm just going to be waiting for stuff to sell, uh, doing bounties, and uh, farming wheat. And selling it to Ven Venomous for 30 gold a piece. So that's like, you know, 3k per 100. So if I farm up like a 1,000 wheat, which really doesn't take that long, that's 30k. So, you know, this is, this is you know, hopefully a, a, a good guide. I mean, I am getting a lot of lucky purchases in the auction house. But always check. Like every, every here and, you know, uh, you know, every little, you know, couple hours or whenever you have some spare time, check the last page of the auction house because... You know, you never know what kind of deals you could find. Uh, there's there's plenty of great deals out there. So, yeah, uh, this was an absolute snag. Absolute snag. If I can turn 4K into 60K, or even if I can turn, like, 4K into 30 or 40K from these Dragon Discs, that's going to be a massive benefit. But we're already, like, like assuming uh, the Fire Fang Ring and these Dragon Discs and the Elm Disc and all this shit sells for like close to what i want them to we're already looking at like an 100k net worth like keep in mind it's saturday still this is the second day this is day two uh in in real life time this is the second day that i've played uh, i have my 12 hunter favors i can't do any more bounties for the day second day and we're, we already got like close to an 100k net worth so uh just wanted to make that little update, and uh, 
I imagine the pace of the episodes are going to get slower and slower. There's going to be a lot more waiting in between episodes, but uh, thought I'd just update you to start off, uh, you know, episode three. It's really going to be a merching game and a grinding game, you know, grinding wheat and uh, merching from here on out. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, it looks like I'm going to get a trade here. I've been asking to buy knowledges for 1.5k each. So there we go. Okay, I wanted to record that. So basically, I guess this, uh, I'll give a little update here. So I'm level 37. I've been doing some fishing. I'm level 25. Just been grinding out. No licks, nothing like that. I farmed some wheat that I plan to sell. Uh, nothing uh, in the auction house has sold yet. Here's what I got in the auction house. I put this fire fang ring back up. These dragon discs probably aren't going to sell. Elm discs still haven't sold. I got four rusty lock boxes, and I'm going to try to sell these for 2k each in the auction house. But anyways, I just wanted to show that, that I spent the last little, like, 7.5k that I had on five super elixirs of knowledge, so it increases... Uh, experience gain four times for fishing, cooking, and mob kills. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use these lixes for fishing because there isn't much purpose in me using these lixes to level up my character. As once I do that, it's not having a level 50 character, let's say, isn't really going to be able to make me any more money. But having a higher level fishing skill I think is actually much more important for free to play. So what I'm going to be doing now is, you know, selling crops to be able to afford some cheap licks. I'm not going to use wisdoms because I don't need a crazy high fishing level. All I really want is to get to like somewhere around level, you know, 75 to 80 so I can fish in Chalmont and get the, those prized pikes. It's a great farming method. So that's basically what we're doing uh the stuff in the auction house isn't really selling i have two dragon discs still in the bank it's probably going to take quite a while for me to sell any of the stuff that i'm currently merching so i have a feeling that i'm going to be grinding out a lot of crops to just afford licks and uh that's the, that's the update i'm going to continue to grind today i've done all my bounties it's still day three so yeah it's really just a matter of grinding at this point, grinding and merching. I, I say just merch, buy and sell, and then grind in my spare time right now. I'm just listening to a podcast and fishing. So I guess I will see uh, when I make another update to how we're doing. So, yeah. Okay, so we're back from fishing. I managed to get to level 45, and I still have one more knowledge left, but I did want to share a couple things. First off, I got some mail that I wanted to share. So my uh, my surf clam sold, and I have eight more that I also want to sell. So that's good. And then I bought this rupture manual for 5k because I believe that I could flip it for anywhere between 15 to 25k. I'm pretty confident in that. I know that I can get more than 5k for it. So that's going to be another item to flip. Other than that, nothing's really selling. The dragon discs. Elm Disc's not selling. Fire Fang Ring isn't selling. Unfortunately, these things are probably going to take a while, but whatever. Now, I wanted to show you something, because something happened. Uh, I have 51 Super Knowledges, and what happened was, to my friend Venomous, I was selling barley to him, and when he logged on, I said, hey, I, or I, I was selling wheat, and I said, hey, I have 200 wheat. Do you want to buy it for 7K? And he did. And I guess he looked at me and seen that I was an, uh, an authentic noob. So he gave me 50 super elixirs of knowledge uh, completely for free. And I mean, that's great and all. But in the spirit of the challenge, I will be returning these back. Now, obviously, if this was you, you should take them. <laughs> You know, if you're an actual noob and someone's helping you, I help people out all the time. Whenever I see low levels, I always try to give them gear and give them gold or whatever they might need. Because I have a lot of items and a lot of money. And the game doesn't do a very good job of incentivizing new players. That's one of the reasons why I'm making this guide, to help people along. 
but it's also very important if the game isn't incentivizing new players that the community does. But I don't feel that one, it's fair for me taking these because he gave them to me thinking that I was a noob. I have a 220 mage on this server, so it wouldn't be fair for me to take them. And uh, I just didn't want to have to explain that, oh, this is just a free-to-play account challenge. So I'm going to send him some mail, and I'm just going to return these. So first, I'm going to need, I think, two stamps. Okay, I think that's fine. Hey, I'm just returning those looks as you gave me. I actually have a 220 mage on here. I'm just doing a free-to-play walkthrough guide for my YouTube channel. Doesn't feel right taking these, but thank you for helping me out. Okay. So yeah, that is the guy I've been selling wheat to him for 35 gold a piece. And yeah, he gave me these looks for free, but in the spirit of the challenge, obviously if somebody gives you something for free, take that shit. Uh, but I don't want anybody in the comments like, oh, you just got help, you just got lucky, you just got a free handout, you know. Uh, I'm doing this entirely authentically, entirely on my own. So hopefully this proves that... Uh, that's what we're doing. So, yeah. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so we're back to the one knowledge that I actually paid for. So, now that I have a free auction house slot because the Surf Clam sold, I do want to sell these for 500 gold each. So that'd be 4K. But, I'm going to sell these four rusty lock boxes for. 8k, I think. I think selling them for 2k a piece is a good deal that people will pay for. So yeah, we're going to try to get 8k off that. And then when these Elm Discs and Dragon Discs free up, I'll probably sell some Dragon Discs for a little cheaper. And then I'm going to attempt to sell this Rupture Manual probably for like 20 to 25k. But there's a little update for what I've been doing. I'm going to get back to fishing. I'm going to try to purchase a couple more knowledges because I really want to focus on leveling up my fishing level. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Oh, I have to do my bounties today and all that, so hopefully I, if I can get a hunter boon or a hunter prize, I'll be able to get a warm out, so I'm really hoping I can do that. But anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, when something interesting happens. Okay, so I just thought I'd record this. I think I just found a guy to sell me uh, a couple more knowledges. So I have 10k. I've been doing some quests and stuff like that. I'd get destroyed. Bruh, I ain't gonna win. I ain't gonna win. But, uh, might as well. as well I suppose I'm gonna get destroyed <laughs> I guess I should have uh, used that Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Let's see. You also selling some? I'm so confused. Let's see, how much should I buy? Should I buy six? Sure, I'll buy six. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Well, that was very interesting. We got a free elixir for winning a duel. <laughs> so I'll, I'll explain how this happened. Um, so I just shouted in the castle, buying XPs, 1.5k each. 
this dude messaged me, uh, said, go, go to the tavern, and then he gave me this offer <laughs> if I beat his druid, that, uh, he'd give me one for free. I mean, the dude, I mean, I thought he would beat me, but the dude's, like, only level 21. I thought he would be more overpowered. Um, Sting Swarm Rings. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. How much is it? Okay. So yeah, uh, we got a free licks for beating a guy in a duel. <laughs> uh, 10 to 5k. Okay. I'm going to try to buy one for like 2k because I'm a cheap buck. <laughs> but, uh, alrighty. I could farm it for you for free. That's nah, fine. I don't want to like accept too many handouts. Because, you know free to play series and all i'll take the licks but i mean it, it is important though like this is important right like social network like this is an important thing but don't beg for items like a cunt nobody likes that but social networking is really important because people will help you out i mean that's what mmos are about right i can farm it for you for free that, that sounds awesome um all right so I'm gonna help you, it's pretty easy to get. Alright. Thanks, man. Yeah, I think I'll accept his stinging swarm. You know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll try to pay him for compensation. If not, then I'll I maybe I'll give 5k away to somebody else just just because I want uh wait, DJ. Thank you. Um okay, so I'm going to go back to Shalmont. So yeah. I think I mean, the free licks, it's 1.5k. Okay, the dude gave me, like, 1.5k for free because I beat him in a duel. You know, you can, you know, I'm kind of trying to, I don't know what line to to go where, you know, social networking and making friends in this game is, you know, you will make friends and, you know, you will get helped out and, you know, join clans and those clans will gear you with discs and all that sort of stuff. I think what I'm going to do when it comes to, like... If this series gets any degree popular and people, like, start giving me shit because they want to, I will definitely not accept that. Because, like I said, I, I, I do want to give myself significant disadvantages and not, like, accept too much stuff from other players to just show, like, hey, you can do this. Obviously, you need other players. It's an MMO, but you can you know, get a start in this game, and we've already had a, a great start, I mean, I'm still low on money, but we have Lixes, by the way, I'm level 49 fishing, got this, you know, like, we got, we got shit to merch, so, so yeah, anyways, that guy is very nice, so there's another person, Elu Heals, very respectable, so, Elu heals and, and Venomous, uh, but, you know, I, I didn't take the 50 knowledges that Venomous gave me because I felt that was just too much. Like, it, it wouldn't, I feel like it wouldn't really be in the spirit of the challenge, even though it kind of is. Of course, there's always going to be some element of luck with every character, with every person. Some people are going to find good deals, some people it's going to take longer, some people are going to, you know, find a good clan and kind of get you know, bumped up and have high levels help them. Some people won't be able to get that. It depends on the server and the time and, you know, generalized luck. But, yeah. That's my spiel. Don't really know what to do about it, you know, because there's always probably going to be somebody in the comments like, 
oh, you got lucky here, and that's the only reason why the thing is successful, or whatever, but I'm not going to attend to that. I think that I'm giving myself enough disadvantages, but I will accept a couple K, like a elixir or a stinging swarm manual or whatever, and, you know, I'll probably try to maybe give some money away to, to other noobs just to give myself more disadvantage, just to show. Because like, that's what this is about. This is a walkthrough guide. I'm here to show you guys that it is possible to be free to play. So, anyways, I'm going to get back to fishing. And I guess I'll see you in the next clip when something interesting happens, like usual. Okay, I was just doing fishing. I logged out. I logged back in just now, and I have mail. So, uh, yeah. The game's been glitching out, which is really annoying me. But let's see. What? Oh. Oh, okay, so this is Venomous. Well, free-to-play trials should show the kindness of others and the possibility, the possibilities of acquiring such items for being an active member of the server. I appreciate the honesty. Maybe give these to someone that's in need. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think, th I think that's a good idea. If he doesn't... I, I, I could definitely... Because I, I always hand out stuff to... Um, to, to new people because I think that's very important and, and this is kind of I guess this is a good moment to, to say that yeah like the reason why I'm not accepting like very many handouts uh, is just to show even absent building a social network and having people help you help you out and I haven't really built a social network. I don't really talk to people, but, you know, when I'm buying stuff, you, you, you chat with them, they'll add you as a friend, you know. Just simple stuff like that. I'm not even, like, actively trying to build necessarily a social network. I'm just, you know, pretty active on the server, so I, people, you know, start to kind of see me around more and more. But, yeah, I think it is, it's very important. One thing, it's like, never beg for items, because that doesn't work, but just being active, being friendly and just just playing the game we've already met this is I'm um, four days in we've already met two people right uh, Elu heels and venomous who have both helped us out so I'm not accepting the help just to show like j just basically to put like extra restraints on myself to to show like it can really be done even without other people or clans now I will be joining a clan and, and, and doing that sort of stuff because you know I, I just I just I just want to reduce it but yeah yeah I think it, it is very important to you know build a social network and you know free to play you know like you said well free to play trial should show the kindness of others and the possibilities of acquiring such items for being an active member of the server I I, I, I couldn't put it better myself so yeah, I guess, uh, okay, I, I guess no one bought any items. No one bought any items. I thought they did. But, uh, yeah, so that that's a little update, a little, uh, I think, a, think a good message there. So. so, yeah, anyways, just thought I'd share that. Okay, so I just want to give another update here. I think I'm going to be ending the episode after this clip, and I want to share my progress. So right now we have 11.8k. Go to the mailbox. My my four rusty lock boxes sold for 8k. And while I was fishing, I got a couple more of these uh, sunken lock boxes. So because those uh, lock boxes sold for so you know, sold so quickly, I'm going to try to sell these for 2.5k each. So I'm going to sell these for 10k in the auction house. But more importantly, my fishing level. I used up all seven of those XP elixirs, so that's 12 XP elixirs in total. And I'm fishing level 70. I just hit fishing level 70, and I'm super stoked. So we also have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of these rare fish. But the first thing that I want to do is I feel like I should explain the fishing slightly more in depth in terms of the fishing quests. So if you go here to fishing quests, you have... You know, the Many Minnows quest, the, the Baiting Bleak, all these things. Now, these quests are all kind of the same. Bring me 10 Minnows, a fishing quest, you know, bring me 10 Bleaks. And they're repeatable, and they give low amounts of experience. 
So you can just hand in those shittier fish into these quests to get a little bit of extra fishing XP. Then you have one daily quest, which I believe gets updated for a new quest that replaces the old one every five fishing levels. So this one, for example, he wants three bleak, two carp, two pike. So yeah, three bleak, two carp, and two pike. So we'll do this, and then we'll cash in the quest. And that gives us a lot more experience, and it also gives us these, these little crates. And we can't do it again, as you can see, but I will be able to do it again tomorrow. So that's a way that you can get a little bit of extra, you know, fishing experience. And you can open these crates, you get some potions. Oh! Hell yeah, we got something rare, finally. <laughs> this is my fourth one of these. I've been putting these in the bank because I, you could sell them, but I think I'm going to try to get the fishing fashion one day, maybe. But I also got, I think it gave me six of these. So, yeah, you can get rare stuff like that, which is really awesome. But... More importantly, I want to get the new fishing rod. Take a pike, and this requires four prized pikes, which are found in Shimmering Waters, level 70 plus. Four prized pike, that's 4.8k worth of fish, so that, you know, that's 5k I'll never get back, but there we go. We have our new fishing rod, it gives us extra concentration, and this will be very useful in what we're going to do next. I'm now going to sell this rod for 250 gold. So, we have the Rod of the Mantra and we're level 70. In episode 4, we're going to explain why the, this is the whole point. The whole point of doing all this fishing, it's not really I've been making a small amount of money, you know, selling my crates, you know, the occasional shimmering water where I get these rare fish. But ultimately, it's all led up to this. Once I, I, I've concluded that I think around level 70 with the Rod of the Mantra is a good place to be when it comes to... I don't, I don't think you need... I, I originally said 75 to 80, but I think it's, it's closer to level 70 is when you're going to be able to do this. Episode 4, we're going to do a fishing compilation to show just how much money you can get. And I'll give a brief overview. Actually, no. We'll, we'll save that for, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll save the fishing compilation for episode four. We really haven't done much this episode other than just fish. It took us 12 XP elixirs, so, you know, that's like three and a half hours worth of fishing right there. And some potions and whatnot. But yeah, things might be slow, but they're going to pick up a lot now, what I'm also going to do here is sell some of my rare fish that I got to the shop along the way. So I got two of these, which are 800 gold. That's 1.6k. I got two silver carps, so that's 2k. And I got a prize pike, 1.2k. So we're already up to... Oh, I've been opening these as well. And I got... I got a uh, enchanted pearl, pearl ring. So that's cool which you get by getting enchanted pearls from the clams or whatever and then you can buy these and you can upgrade it all the way up to grand 15 fishing power 150 concentration it's not a terrible ring it's pretty good when you get it maxed out for the low levels at least so yeah that is the progress that we've made <laughs> pretty high fishing level but once again it's totally obtainable it really only took me you know what 12 elixirs that's not that bad and i've also been using these riverbank broth you get this by cooking there's a tab in the fishing tradesman or the fishing guy where he hands you the quests you can also cook and you're definitely going to want to get the best one of these there was the shoreline broth which combined the two 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 fish two different types of fish and some of the spice this is like some pepper and, and whatever you'll you should be able to figure out how to make these they're really useful because they regenerate concentration and they give you a little extra fishing power now in order to end this episode I'm going to explain what I've done in the auction house what that's looking like so these elm discs are expiring or these discs in general are expiring in about one hour so I'll just explain here so I have the royal fire fang ring that's still in there for 35 slash 30 I put in the rupture manual remember that I bought for 5k I'm trying to sell it for 20 slash 25. Now when these discs expire, I'm gonna put these four sunken lock boxes in the auction house for 10K total. 
2.5k each. And then I'm probably going to put back the Elm Discs, probably for a bit cheaper, and I'm going to put back the Dragon Discs, maybe for like 7.5k each or something. We'll, we'll, see how, we'll see what I feel. We'll see, you know, whatever the highest listing is in the auction house, and then I'll lower lower mine slightly. But yeah, that's, that's what this is looking like. We have 17k, so in one hour, like I said, we're going to, you know, change some of this stuff. And I look forward to, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys in episode four, where we're really going to start to pick up steam. We have 17k. It's only episode three. It's it's only day four. Let's not forget. And it's only going to pick up steam here when it comes to our ability to make money. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to making episode four. So yeah, see you.